Siemens' new family of 3VA molded case circuit breakers is a complete system designed to meet low and medium voltage power distribution needs. In this video, we'll review the basics for establishing communications between the Siemens 3VA circuit breakers and PowerConfig, a free setup software for Siemens devices, including 3VA communication capable circuit breakers. With 3VA molded case circuit breakers, you can increase system transparency so users can consistently monitor devices and performance. To begin, install the COM60 module in the right side accessory compartment. The COM60 is the communication module for the breaker. It transmits measurement, status, and diagnostic information. Next, install the T connectors and cables. T connectors enable daisy chaining up to eight 3VA breakers. To do this, a terminating resistor must be installed on the last T connector, not connected to the data server. Remember, the max length of a daisy chain cannot exceed 65 feet or 20 meters. Next, we'll install the data server. There are two versions to choose from. The COM800, used for communicating with up to eight 3VA breakers, or the COM100 for communications with only one breaker. These data servers natively provide Modbus TCP, but can be expanded to include Modbus RTU, Profibus, or Profinet. A terminating resistor must be installed. The DSP800 is a local display option that can provide data from up to eight 3VA breakers. It connects to the data server via Ethernet and is easy to configure and navigate. Now we'll establish communications between the Siemens 3VA breaker and PowerConfig. First, be sure the data server is connected to your computer with an Ethernet cable and that your computer IP address is in the desired networking range. Click the Search for Accessible Devices icon and select the proper Ethernet connection from the list. When you're finished, Click Start Search. To change the networking parameters of the search results, unlock the results, make the changes, and then load to the device by pressing the Load Communication Parameters icon. When you're finished, click on the Load Selected Devices icon to load to the PC, and then close the search results. The COM800 data server is now populated into the project window. To add 3VA breakers that are already connected to the data server, navigate to Overview and click Go Online. The border changes to orange to let us know we're online. Any breakers connected to the data server appear. For this example, there is one 3VA breaker with a breaker address of 126. Let's change this to 1. To add the breaker to the project, select the available breaker and click Load Selected Breakers to PC. The breaker is added to the project under COM800 in the tree structure. Double-click the breaker to select it and navigate to Overview. With Online View still active, you see data is being streamed from the breaker to PowerConfig. Next, switch to Parameter View. Here, you can change the configuration of the breaker. Let's have a look at the protective parameters. For example, if the short time pickup current needs to be changed, first we need to go offline. Then we can make the change from 60 to 85 and load the configuration to the device. The parameter view allows the user to see and make changes to the available settings on the 3VA breaker. Let's go online with the device again and look at the different views we can access through PowerConfig. First, let's switch to Measurements view, where we can review all the measurements available from the breaker. With the Voltage and Current view, we see real-time voltage and current values, as well as minimum and maximum voltage and current values. And Power and Energy view shows all the available measurements related to power and energy. Trips view provides information on the type of trip, if the breaker was in tripped status. And Warnings view shows any current warnings or alarms on the 3VA breaker. 
The threshold warnings view displays the status of any limit violation if configured, voltage unbalanced status, and current unbalanced status. And maintenance and statistics view displays statistics relating to the number of tripping operations, mechanical operating cycles, and running time of the operating hours counter in hours. The messages view displays warning messages and threshold messages, trip messages, and operating cycles. The user can download this log as a CSV file. With Load Profile view, you can download the onboard storage of energy parameters from the ETU, which can store up to 40 days of energy measurements. To modify this view, select or deselect measurements from the legend. The Load Profile can also be downloaded. In the Trip Curve view, you can see tripping characteristic curves and simulate parameter settings, then load them to the breaker. Trip curves can be printed for further analysis. Date and time values are stored in the data server and can be set with the device menu. This takes the PC time and uploads it to the data server. We recommend you set up time synchronization using SNTP. Remember, the date and time are reset every time the data server is power cycled. In addition to these, PowerConfig also has other helpful tools, like resetting minimum and maximum values, rebooting devices, resetting to factory defaults, and firmware updates. Finally, we're going to add our optional DSP-800 local display. Search for Accessible Devices and select the DSP-800. Click on Load Selected Devices to PC, and in Parameter View, Go offline and enter the COM800 data server IP address, and then click Load to Device. This brings in all the breakers configured on the data server to the display. The DSP800 is one of the many ways to represent the data offered from the 3VA. Other methods could be HMIs, PLCs, and energy management software. With 3VA, you get better visibility of your system with common protocols like Modbus TCP, Modbus RTU, Profibus, or Profinet. You can also connect to higher level energy management and automation systems for continuous system monitoring and comprehensive metering and diagnostic data. Siemens, ingenuity for life.